Hey y'all, this is Dan with DPS Breakdowns. This will be the first video in a series breaking down 30 Jason Nolf takedowns. Let's jump right in. Throughout this series, I'll do my best to analyze both individual techniques and broader concepts. We begin with an overtie slide by attempt. As the opponent shuffles his feet to square back up, Nolf executes a beautifully timed foot sweep, kicking the opponent's right foot out just as he shifts his weight to it. For good measure, Nolf pulls on the opponent's head, further off balancing him. As the opponent falls to his right hip, Nolf attempts to control the bottom leg, but the opponent manages to keep it away. Nolf builds his base up with the hand post, shelves the opponent's left leg, and builds up to his feet. From here, Nolf executes another foot sweep, this time targeting the opponent's right calf. As the opponent falls to the mat, Nolf maintains control of the left leg and finishes the takedown. Two key concepts that this clip illustrates are chain wrestling and positional advantage. Chain wrestling occurs when multiple techniques are connected in one continuous sequence until a desired result, usually a takedown, is reached. A positional advantage occurs when you obtain superior positioning relative to your opponent's positioning. The goal in wrestling is to create a positional advantage by putting yourself in strong positioning, putting your opponent in weak positioning, or some combination of the two, and maintain this advantage as long as possible. With those two concepts in mind, let's take another look at this clip. As we saw before, this sequence is gonna begin with an overtie slide by. So Nolf has a left hand overtie, his right hand finds the wrist. And as the opponent defends, he's actually gonna put himself out of good positioning here. So he's got his left hand on the ground. He's no longer facing Nolf while Nolf is facing him. And this is what we've been calling the positional advantage uh, for Nolf in this case. And one of the benefits of positional advantage is that it's gonna limit or narrow down the number of options that the opponent has. And so Nolf knows that an intelligent opponent at this point is gonna to wanna to square back up with him. And that's when the foot sweep comes into play and that's the chain wrestling concept that we mentioned. And so as the opponent, he's gonna take a step with his left foot here. And then now he wants to bring his right foot back so he's facing Nolf. As he does that, Nolf's gonna kick the foot out here. So you can see how the positional advantage concept and the chain wrestling concept kind of work together here. So again, as the opponent goes to square back up because that's really his, his best option at this point and Nolf knows that, Nolf's gonna chain the foot sweep to his initial slide by attempt here. You can see he's also pulling on the head as well to help off balance. Opponent falls to the floor, does manage to get his bottom leg away and so Nolf's gonna now chain into a single leg. So we saw the slide by connected to the foot sweep and then now we're gonna connect the single leg here. So Nolf shelves the leg on his right knee, gets to both feet. So the positional advantage, once he, once Nolf initially achieved it with that slide by, he keeps it throughout the entire sequence. So the opponent never gets back to good positioning. Now the opponent's hopping on one foot. Nolf's in strong positioning here, back straight, eyes forward. And he's gonna execute this back trip on the opponent's post leg. Bring him straight down to the ground. And you can see here, Nolf does a good job stabilizing by controlling that left leg of his opponent, keeping the foot elevated. With all that in mind, let's watch the sequence twice more. First time in slow motion, second time in full speed.
That's it for day one. Thanks for watching.